Okay, I just want to show people the misconception of zero beat. If you watch this meter, I'll tell you this is what true zero beat looks like. This frequency is 14, 100 megahertz, 20 meter band, in the tune position. And that's what real zero beat is. Now you can see my radio is drifting a little. Because the needle goes faster and slower, faster and slower. But if you watch this. See that's drifting right there. Now it will slow up again. But when that meter comes to a dead stop. That tells you that you're on frequency. Now I'll show you something here. Excuse the camera because I'm doing this on my phone. Watch this. As I turn the dial, boom. Stopped it. Now you'll listen. I go up. There's the 100 kilohertz tone. I go down. Watch. There's the other 100 internal kilowatt kilohertz tone in the radio see what happens I go the other way it goes zero now watch when I get both of those together that thing will start zero B right there And the slower you get it, the slower it runs, the more you are center on frequency. Right there. I'll do it again. Bring it up. See how fast it's going? Slower down. This is what's called true zero beating, people. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there. Because it will slow down. But that's true zero beating. None of this other videos I've watched on YouTube. This is what zero beat really is. This is on the Yaesu FT-101 EX. See, I'm drifting just a little. Let me uh, let me touch that VFO just a bit. There. Oh, I'm realigning this whole complete radio. I've reserviced it. I've done a full cleanup on it. See right there. Wow, I almost had it. There you go. That's zero beat right there. Now the chassis is open, so it's not going to be very stable. So that's what true zero beating is all about. Right there's the rig. Let's see if it'll focus it in any. But I've even put a new cover plate on. That's a brand new cover plate on that radio. I don't know if you can... Well, you'll be able to see it right about there. Yeah, there you go. See, you can see the new cover plate. Now, I haven't... Uh, completely heat synced it all in but there you go it's still zero beating there you go still zero beating I'll show you the other side of the chassis what we've done oh look at that thing sparkle yep we've done a lot of work on this radio 
This one's going to be my own personal. Look at that. Wow. I mean, we've got it cleaned up. Tubes are glowing. Everything's shiny. Yeah, did the mods down there. Come back around here. Did that capacitor. Look at the case on this bed, dude. Oh, spent a lot of time on it. Like I said, I'm going through the tune-up. I just thought I'd show people what real zero beating is all about. Done a lot of work on this radio. But, as you can see, it's pretty clean. There we go. Now you can see that fa new face plate. Well, that's the original plate that came with it, but I put a new plastic lining on the outside of it. 101EX, and are we still zero beating? It sounds like it, so we'll see here. Yeah, look at that. That is like almost perfect frequency. 7100 kilohertz right there. The slower it goes, the more stable stable the frequency is and you can do that on any 100 Hertz uh, band uh, yeah I'm on the lower side it doesn't really matter which side you do it on tune would probably be the best because that puts you in the center of everything full receive and full volume AF gain 100 kilohertz switch and here we go again see it's speeding up so just just a little because like I said the covers are all off get them covers on we're set all right there's some equipment my equipment just show you my equipment here there you go it focused in now there's what we got for equipment for our, all our testing and everything so there you have it it all works magnificently I've gone through it all okay well, there you have it there's a refurbished 101